This one's one that you use while you sleep. And people with arthritic joints will apply that and sleep on it and then wake up the next morning and be limber and free of pain for it'll last for three days. So where do they place this? Wherever their pain is. Oh, so they lay down on it and it's yeah. placed in the back of their head when they're laying down. Well, and not then necessarily they, their head, it might be in their hip. Or in their, wherever or they in their part treatment. of their body. Yeah, wherever it's hurting. And then how long do they, they can just put on a low low one on just lay there all night and it's safe? Yeah, but usually only it starts working in minutes. Here, let me hook that one. Okay. Here, give me the end of it. Okay. And I'll hook that up. It's it, it doesn't have much of a sensation, it's just a static feel. Well, this is so, a pretty small package overall, so people can stuff this under the bed, I guess, when yeah. I'm using it. That's a pretty, so pretty small So I can place supply. this on my head too, right? Yeah, you can put it anywhere okay. you want. So this is actually oh, running now? Or? on my back. In this case, I'll put it on my head. Okay. Where I got the idea is I saw a, a triple E journal and they, they mentioned using a high voltage field effect over, they suspended a grid over the ceiling and then they used a typing speed test to see if it did anything mm -hmm. and, and the person didn't know when it was turned on or off and they put it on a typewriter and whenever it was on the, the typing speed increased. So this is plugged in right now? It's plugged in right now. Okay, so and then you want to try the other one, the little zapper oh, thing yeah, you had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm to try it on my wrist. Okay, now you have to make a circuit Maybe. with the box for that. Oh, okay. You either hold it in your hand or okay. put your foot on it. No problem. So these are, these are almost plug and play style devices, right? Yeah, little interchangeable there. options for the little power <laughs> supply. I mean, theoretically, do both of them at the same okay. time. Had a y so, like, you have acupressure points, you know, in your you neck and so on, forth. You, you can put it right on the skin, and it won't arc or burn if you touch it right on there. Oh, it's almost like getting a a, a type of electrified acupressure. Sure. Yeah. So if you have tension, it's kind of a Tesla pencil. Basically, you know, if you got a lot of tension, like built up in your muscle tissue, it's going to be a little bit warmer. Yeah. I noticed that where the most tension is, yeah. it, it feel I can feel the heat. Mm. And basically, it actually relaxes the yeah. muscles. Yeah. I can feel that. Almost like diathermy, you know, a little bit like that. What really made the most amazing thing this did was regenerate a guy's fingertip perfect with no scar. And you could try it right at your wrist. So it stimulates healing as well, then. Yeah. It really stimulates so, a variety of healing. And like, um, if you have, you know, it can detoxify your blood, but, and so. If you're putting it like where your blood vessels are at your pulse point, yeah, it will actually detoxify your blood. In fact, I uh, know Robert Becker. I can or, smell or, ozone or from Bob it. Bob so. Beck made a zapper, and he treat, put little two electrodes right here and it, on this vein, and and treated this blood. And when I saw it when he came to Global Sciences. He was this big around, you know, really obese. And the next year, I saw him he slimmed down about the size of me. And I, and he said how he did it. And he said he was treating with a zapper, and he apparently had blood parasites that made him fat. And he didn't so even know that. I'm, I'm kind of like uh, what you would call a slow healer when I get little wounds. Yeah. You know? and, and and so this thing will help in heal theater, faster. In theory, so if I put this around my wound, oh, it yeah. should be able to heal a lot faster. Right. And, and I, like what they give us, uh, what they usually give. Uh, um, for a, uh, what is it, Neosporin, for example. Neosporin is a, a topical This makes that obsolete. And so basically I could replace the Neosporin by using this. And what's nice about that is once well, you, you have, have something have the, like this. You have to make this, complete the circuit. You know, I have to make a little wire thing for it. To, I mean, it won't work if I hold, oh, I see. So you got to make, you have, the other one you don't need to be holding Oh, so I just have to touch it anywhere on my body. Then. Yeah. Oh, so it yeah. creates a ground probably oh, for I us. See. Now the other one you so don't So basically have to I'll never have to buy um, yeah. stuff to like no, Neosporin. I could just well, use this. Well when my partner went to Hawaii with me, she got her head banged up on the rocks and the beach is all bloody and everything and the people there and they just called 91 and said, No, no, don't do it, it's all right, it's not as bad as it looks and and the the, the damn medics came and said, and, and we we're walking out, we we're gonna get out of there, you know, and we just passed them on the trail 
So anyway, so we don't need to go. We're all right. People <laughs> were warning about infections in Hawaii. Well, we got this thing, you know, and I treated it every day, and it never it healed right up. Okay, now, like, like for example, I've read, I've seen the videos and read the articles where they've taken bee venom, and they uh, with elderly patients, and yeah. they put the stingers in their joints, wow. and it relieved the pain and the pressure and the swelling. All that went away. Wow! And they discovered for arthritic patients, yeah, uh, the bee venom had some special, unique properties. Yeah. So okay. in, in in theory, if you did this, you, yeah. you wouldn't have to worry about swelling, you yeah. know, which is associated by putting bee ven bee venom in there. Because I have yeah. done it too. I've tried bee venom therapy. I've taken some honey bees. I've actually put in the stingers right in my kneecaps. This stuff helps and, and, Well, I have crepitus, you know, which is like, you know, you hear a popping and crackling in your oh. knees, which have made it very difficult sometimes to do deep knee bends or, you know, you know, be on your knees for very long periods of time. But this, this actually will heal, you know, for pa patients like me who have yeah. crepitus, and, and yeah. I don't have to worry about taking adrenaline shots. Like, right. I have a, um, a problem with my hip, for example. You do? Okay, every once in a while, it feels like it wants yeah. to collapse on me, and I feel sharp oh. shooting pains. So really, I should be applying this to my hip, if anything. Yeah. And the VA actually gave me an adrenaline shot, but they tell you oh. we can't keep doing that. Right. They thought, actually, it was a bursar sac. They oh. discovered... No, and it wasn't the blood, bust, blood vessel. So they think there was probably a, some, an arthritic condition, and, wow. and, you know, and a problem with my hip. So basically, this would take care of that problem.